Hey, we're here with Dr. Bilski, and the, the question today is something you, you should probably know. What, what a is, few ideas. <laughs> what are the top three most painful dental conditions? You know, you always say, oh, my root canal, uh, my tooth got knocked out, or whatever. Well, it could be a root canal. It's uh, most of the time, it's the what happens before you get the root canal, so an abscess. Okay, abscess, abscess number one. Right. Would that be probably the ouch, ouch factor? Big ouch factor? It's probably the most painful, and, and that, that's someone's perspective too. If it's happening to you, it might be different than somebody else's. Sure, so, yeah, sure. But sure. let's just go with the abscess is, is pretty good. So um, how do you get an abscess? It's an infection of your tooth. It could be from a cavity that you didn't take care of. Um, you could have had a fractured tooth that the bacteria got inside and right. entered into the nerve that created the space that you get the swelling. All right, it's very painful. Uh, the other very painful situation would be wisdom teeth that are coming in. So as we get older, we're adults. Um, if you've had children or been around children that are cutting teeth, you're like, oh, don't he's crying or she's crying because it hurts. They're cutting their teeth. Well, wisdom teeth would be an example of an adult cutting their teeth. And then you get bacteria underneath that little flap area, it's called, and bacteria get in there. And it's called pericoronitis. And then it gets swollen. And then that's, how I find. that's, so fun. that's, that's extremely painful. I can remember when I was in college, uh, I was 20 years old. My wisdom teeth were killing me. So that summer, my parents took me to get it taken out, and all good now. Um, and then the maybe the, the third most painful would be periodontitis. So that's the start of bone loss, gum recession, swollen gums, uh, increased tartar or plaques that build up on your teeth, which increased, we call colonization of bacteria. Oh, geez. <laughs> and then you get the infection wow. there, the loose teeth, you try to bite down, you know, and it's just kind of a oh, man. series of bad, bad events. I'm sorry, sorry, it's kind of sorry I asked this question to begin with now. That's a lot of <laughs> well, stuff, but. You know, it's, it is reality. And, and, yeah. and the reality is some of the literature that's out there will say uh, about 15% in a general dental practice, meaning these are people that are coming in regularly, 15% have some type of gum issue disease. Um, more research is being done and it actually looks like it's closer to 35 or 40 percent. She's of just general yeah. population. So it, it's, it's very prevalent. It seemed like a couple of those you mentioned, though, were kind of like if you notice something's wrong, get something done. Like mm -hmm. it, yeah, it happens because you, know, you don't get sure. something done soon enough. So. so the other way to look at those, why don't you just go to the dentist more? Hey, who would have thunk that? <laughs> yeah, twice a year, minimally. And even if it's once a year, it's better than zero a year. And, you know, we, a lot of times we see people every two years, so we have to remind them kiddingly, like, hey, it's not uh, once every two years, it's twice every two years. <laughs> Do so they get the hit? They, they get it. And it's usually because of some type of wisdom tooth or infection. Yeah. It's something that really big happens gum, and that this is know, why you come in all the time. It, to get it's, it done. it's a never ending. Plus, never you guys ending. give out toys, but that's only to the kids. Well, right now, and I should have brought the props. We, if you come in as a patient because of our protective eyewear policy that we follow, we have these pretty cool sunglasses that are giveaways. Oh, cool. And they have white frames and they're dark. So when you shine the light on and we're working on you, uh, it protects your eyes, covers you from the light. But then when you walk outside in the sun, the frames change to yellow, orange. Oh, that's really cool. Red or blue. So you should come on in. And so here's the deal, Bilski Dental Group, you know, good dental work, all that cool glasses. You're definitely gonna wanna like, uh, give them a call. We love them. All right, thanks a lot, that was fun. Thank you.